So if you follow the channel, we have been doing a slew of coverage on the new stuff Apple announced this year. iPhone 16, 16 Pro Max, AirPods 4, Apple Watch Series 10, and all that good stuff. One thing I want to do, because I know a lot of people are going to be looking at, comparing, and deciding on, should they upgrade from the iPhone 15 Pro Max to the new iPhone 16 Pro Max? Obviously, looking at them side by side, it is very limited in what you can see as far as differences go. However, I don't want to make this video very scientific or stat driven. I want to purely show you what you can expect if you pick up either of these devices or upgrade from the 15 Pro Max. Let's do a quick side by side look. So again, here we go. iPhone 15 Pro Max on the left and the new iPhone 16 Pro Max on the right. One thing right off the bat, this is that desert titanium colorway. And I have to say, unless that light hits it just right, this might be the most bland color I think I could have gotten different from what the promotion materials kind of alluded it to looking like. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking it was definitely going to be more rose goldish. However, it is definitely muted in color. Aside from that, as you can see side by side from last year's natural titanium, they do look very comparable staring at them side by side until you actually go ahead and put them next to each other where you can definitely see there is that 6.9 inch display on the new one as opposed to the 6.7 on the old 15 Pro Max. Another big call out, obviously on the volume side right here, Everything looks identical to how it did last year. However, flip it over and now you're going to see some changes. Obviously on the new 16 Pro Max, you do have that new camera control button here. Whereas on the 15, it had that millimeter wave antenna. And like I said in my other videos, I'm not sure where Apple managed to put it uh, to get that signal because it's not here anymore. This cutout is definitely missing. Uh, on every side of the 16 Pro Max. Very interesting, traditionally if you're not aware, millimeter wave antennas need to have direct sight out and this titanium casing kind of blocks some of that signal. So I'm not sure if Apple developed a different way internally, obviously they're not making their own modems yet, but hopefully this will hold on to signal strength as well as the 15 did in that regard. Obviously looking at them side by side as well, camera cutouts still look identical, the camera island identical, your time of flight sensor, every, everything is still the same on these two devices side by side. Let me go ahead and turn this one back on really quick to show you some of the border differences around the bezel of the phone. So Apple was really quick to show you how narrow these new bezels are around the 15 Pro Max and it definitely does look good. Let me zoom in a little more for you. You can see just how minimal it is here. Again, I never thought what you got on the 15 Pro Max was bad by any means, but if you actually have them side by side, there is a slight difference in that bezel. Aside from that guys, really coming from one to another, you always had the eight gigs of RAM on the 15 Pro Max. You now obviously still have that on the 16 Pro Max as well as the base 16 models, really all across the board here. The A18 Pro chip is in this phone. Supposedly makes a little bit of difference for AI features. Again, nothing active at time of sale. Um, they will be coming in a future software update. But looking at these, brightness is the same. Everything else is very, very, very consistent to what it was in last year's phone. If you care about that little extra bit of screen real estate, you obviously have a good reason enough to update for the 15, or excuse me, the 16 Pro Max. If not, it is very limited in what you can do currently with these new devices. I will say I'm still not sold on this camera control button. I think it's still kind of gimmicky. I don't like the positioning as you can hear, just trying to reach over to this button. I feel like I'm scraping the shell here with my aura ring, even taking that off. It is a reach to get over to that button on the pro max. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you a fan of this or is it just easy marketing material and really something that people are going to forget about? Just like they did that action button very quickly. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.